Joined now with our local fight experts, Stefan Juinski and Kostas Kobayev. You guys know Sakra. You guys know Yato. You know how they've been designed. Now we're going to get into the nitty-gritty details, the ones that you've been looking forward to. And it's a fight demo as to what to expect as a player playing the Hitsu Kiyo. Is that a new shirt he has on? Can you, let's dive right into it. Can you tell us a little bit about this character? Before we get into the real details of this, how can you describe this character in maybe three words? Uh, when we look at this character, a lot of times we think about this character as relentless, unflinching, and a tyrant. Sounds uh, like great descriptors. It's, it's, they're pretty cool. Uh, I think as you have through the character, relentless, uh, it's able to attack. It's got a lot of uh, cool mix-ups and a lot of Ooh. Uh, you hear that sound effect later? Unflinchingness. You'll see it in sound cool. Triple Stance, a.k.a. Super Armor, uh, and Ability to Trade uh, and Survive. And Tyrant, yeah, once you face one of these on the field, you know why you call it that. Yeah, I'm already scared of the character just looking at this key art, so, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I can only imagine once we get into the, into the game. Are you talking so, about Tyrant from Resident um, Evil? Why don't you guys take us <laughs> through the, the actual moveset and a little bit about the go-to combos that, that players could look at um, playing the Hitakiri for the first time? Sure, I mean, this is your big chance to screenshot, so I would say grab this. Yeah, let's... let's Freeze frame right here. Yeah, perfect. Take some time. All the stuff in the set. Very slow. Very nice. This <laughs> is excellent. Hitokiri is our uh, samurai heavy, uh, and we thought it was really interesting to go with the heavy. When we look at the axe, it's big. It implies a lot of uh, strength and power. Uh, and then we saw that as should go this guy competition. The character needs a lot of strength and power to throw this axe around. So uh, that's how we, we think of it as a heavy in this case. Uh, and we'll see that through the character. The yes, sound effect of the yes, of the yes. double blade um, axe sounds really cool, dude. Being the executioner, getting big executions, and then trying to snowball that into a strong defensive uh, unit. So if I may interject, what, what do you see this weapon, the Master Carry, how does it influence her moveset? How does it make it different from different characters? So a lot of when we build a character, it stems from the weapon, right? This weapon wants to chop people, right? It wants to get executions. So we're like, it looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> so how do we get this character to get executions? So as Francis is starting to to throw a few attacks, we're seeing uh, heavy chain, infinite the voice. chain, uh, variable times heavies throughout the chain, uh, culminating, of course, in fully charged unblockable heavies, all of which can be fainted at any time. What does that mean? The fun. And the correct thing to do when playing Dude, her voice is keeping me out. A lot of heavies. So you, have to play, you think that you have to play a more aggressive style to be an effective Hitakiri player? I think so. You'll, you'll be able to attack. You'll be able to also trade with the amount of super armor that you're seeing there. Um, but because of the variability in the timing that you have, uh, similar to Shigoki, for example, Shigoki! Uh, you can really mess up the opponent. They won't be able to parry you reliably. And you're gonna go and hit and hit and hit, and that's your game plan. And in terms of team fight, what role do you guys see the character taking on? Is there a specific composition that may work with this character, a, a play style or role that they should be taking on, starting off with this character? <coughs> For us, we very much see it as like an aggressive heavy, right? Whereas uh, Shugoki very much wants to sit on a point and, and hold it. This one has a bit more ability to sit on a point, force you out of a point, push around a little bit. Uh, Transition between like B and C or B and C, for example. Uh, but once you get those executions and you start to get a little bit stronger, we'll see a little later on, uh, and you really become a menace in the field. Um, so let's kind of go through the, the fight fight kit here. Basics uh, can open with a light or a heavy. Uh, and once you start, you can infinitely go through. Talk about the noise. This, the figure wrap is tough. Seeing here, you can end it at any time with a light finisher. There you go, you saw the one with super armor there. That was light finisher. So again, heavy opener has super armor. So a bit of options. Whenever you need super armor to trade in a group fight, <coughs> you have some attack that can do it. Yeah, and going back on what you said in terms of the actual fight style of this character, it's, it's kind of interesting because it's a heavy, um, as opposed to the Shigoki where the body is maybe heavier, <laughs> this time around it's actually the weapon that's like dictating the moves, right? Yes, definitely. Where, whereas here, the weapon is heavy and this character is strong to push that around, use momentum, and really put it mm, into it. Top heavy. Uh, and you're seeing here, like, especially once she charges those Side heavy. heavies, uh, start to get a bit more of the power and the momentum. Um, but anyway, uh, uh, this piece here, I want to show the importance of, yes, the heavies can be fainted. 
uh, even when they become unblockable. So you've shown that? Finisher? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. The, the heavies, you've shown the light finisher right there. Ah, uh, yes, is not interrupted on block. So you end up neutral uh, with the other opponent at the same time, meaning you should be able to attack again with your super armored lights or, or sorry, super armored heavies, uh, if that makes sense. It does. <laughs> okay, perfect. Does. Um, what else <laughs> do we have in the kit? We have kick, mix up, inside the chain. Mm. You can do uh, a kick at any time. It, if it hits, it guarantees you're heavy. So you so took you something from <laughs> Tiandi and he added to. Uh, all, all over the place. Yeah. So heavy, free, uh, sorry, kick, Sakura. free heavy. That's, that's a cool thing on this character. You can charge the kick, which we'll do here, and it becomes a sweep, oh. which gives you a free light opener. That's cool. Inside the chain again. I always have trouble with sweeps, whether it be Valve <coughs> or Shaolin. It's just, just a mess on my side. So this is going to be another. You know, you would think that forward, Shinobi will be the character that does a sweep, in, but no. So that'll be fun. Uh, nope. What else is cool about the kick sweep? If we charge it and then cancel it with B. You can then guard break or light attack or whatever you want afterwards. So, so a lot of options. A ton of options nice. throughout the character at all times. In terms of 1v1, do you think that she's a very strong character? I would say yes. Okay, nice. I think, I think against most people, it's going to be doing some good work. Not good news for me. No. But, uh, <laughs> all right. well, unless you take her. Then OP. Uh, what else do we have? Outside the chain, we have a zone attack. Uh, it's a pretty good range and has quite a bit of forward movement. Uh, as well, you can do dodge forward heavy. Uh, also has quite a lot of movement in it. So you can control space if you were fainting something with your kick uh, mix-up or your heavy mix-up and they decided to roll away. That's something that might be able to stop them. So that's pretty cool. We can show sprint attack as well because I always forget to show sprint attacks. But we got them anyway. So pretty awesome. Uh, and I think that's the extent of the, uh, the fight kit there. That's awesome. And so obviously the character is not complete without its feats. Should we go right into it? Yes, let's because do it. Because I know the feet four is pretty interesting. You need to take a look. I, I, I got the chance to take a look at this, so it's going to be really cool. Why don't we go through So those? we want to keep in your heads that uh, it's about the executioner. <coughs> She's an executioner. She wants to get kills. She like souls, all that jazz. All the cool stuff. And uh, Female we Green Weeper. Of the character through these feet. Oh, male Green Weeper. So uh, let's queue up the feet number one. Either way, she wants souls. Yo, um, souls. That what well, it grants you waiting on max right now is uh, Shang Tsung. while you execute you get super armor, and while you execute you get a shield that fills your life. All right, that is a full white card with the shield. Damn, no so interruption. No that was sick right there. That was cool. Exactly. This applies to any execution. Wow. Yes. So I feel like that is going to be super useful. It is super useful. Yes, because you see this warden can't stop her with heavies. Uh, oh, now I know what the feat is. So pikemen and soldiers. Whoa, that the effect that she has, that's cool. Beautiful. The souls are like, uh, like so yeah. spreading away, that's nice. cool. Let's head over to feat two. So feat number two, she's going to mark an opponent. They'll become revealed, and if she or any of her allies executes that opponent, uh, everyone nearby will get HP regen. Mm. So watch the uh, Hitokiri's health bar. And heal. Wow. Yes. So it applies whether Hitokiri does the executing or whether she, her ally does the executing. And does she need to be within a certain vicinity? Yeah, you, you might have seen like a, yeah, an a little bubble. Kind of <clears throat> exactly. Okay. So you have to be really How did you not see the bubble? That's funny. The not, bubble was right like, there. So like a, a, a safe distance. Exactly. Okay. I get it. I get it. Makes sense. Um, let's head over to P3 then. Perfect. P3. Uh, so boom. She gets the execute here and she gets a defense <laughs> that's indicated by that cool glowing green stuff around the uh the heads on her on her waist uh and you see the little defensive buff icon which is a 30 percent damage debuff so uh, it's not an actual shield oh it is no that's a tier one okay uh okay. is applying the yellow shield that excuse is cool and the defensive <laughs> hits him like wide like between the two blades Oh, that exactly. sucks. <laughs> Boom. Wow. Just the sound so effect is hilarious. An execution, become strong, never die again. Like souls again and just grow stronger. It all, all fits with this character. So let's head over to Feet 4, which is really, really cool. I really like this. Uh, so why don't we show the tape? Feet number 4. 
Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 200 damage. 200 damage. Basically one and kill. Is that a mistake? 200 damage. No, so, that's right? correct. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, that is on one character. Is there, is there, oh, sure. is, is there like damage that's going to be inflicted on other characters that are surrounding this? It is beautiful move, this acrobatic move it's that I wish I could accomplish. Thankfully, single target. That's OP. So she's only going to kill whoever she's, she's focused on. I just realized we're in a new map. Uh, guaranteed. It's pretty much guaranteed. However, the opponent could have a uh, shield bar, damage. Damn, that uh, shit is like, wow. Resistance, like, he took his tears. Why does that remind me of something? Could apply a damage debuff, uh, attack mm -hmm. debuff on the Hitokiri, so you can manipulate her damage to be a little less. Dude, that feat right there is crazy. Holy shit. But chances are, you're pretty much Kamita. Yes. Okay, fair enough. Well, that, that I think, about does it in terms of presenting the, the tools that are uh, uh, available to players with this character. I will get to experience this firsthand uh, because, actually, right after this, we're going to do a first exhibition match with the community uh, and devs where you will see, again, some mediocre gameplay of a tense day. So just get ready for this. Good day! Um, so thank you, appreciate it. Thank you again for the time. I think thank it's you. a really sick character, uh, and I think players are going to be excited, and you guys are going to get to see it in action with our um, game <coughs> of Reach, and then we have Tribute later on in the show. Um, but for now, I'm going to throw it off to our caster booth. We've got Guillaume Couture, our, uh, our world-famous dev here, uh, who...